Hi guys, some more updates and feedback. So first things first, what you need to do is um, go over to your anchor, click on the top right three dots there, scroll all the way down and device update that last one. Have a look there, see everything's up there and I'm going to choose auto upgrade device. So we'll choose that, see how that goes. And uh, if you ever change your Wi-Fi system, you have to remove device there. The next thing I've noticed, the motion detector keeps pointing a bit higher. It keeps going higher, then it comes. Now, if ever your motion detector has captured something, you go to playback. And then you see all that bit. While it's playing, while it's playing, you just press record, which means it's going to save that. Or if you want, say, you want to capture that bit. Uh, there's a way to pause it. There's a way to pause it there. And then just screen capture that. And then you can go to your view albums and you can see your screenshot and that bit for night mode. Let's just go into that. You can choose auto, you can choose on during the daytime and this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. I can see the three lights on the camera but I will save that again to auto. I don't need it right now. Motion detection and motion tracking. So look at this. It follows me which is nice. But the difference I want you to see is this is not high contrast. So let me go on the other side and you can see how I become dark and contrasted. So that's the quality. And you can't really see me, but hey. Hey, where did you go? You're supposed to track me. Are you going to track me? You can edit your buttons, how you want them to look. I've already gone through that. What is private mode? Device, in sleep, turn on the camera. Okay. Uh, turn on camera. That is when you want some peace. Steam color. Okay, so you can choose dark mode for your app. Gallery is where you take your pictures. Playback, I think it captures if you've told it to record. So previously I recorded some motion detection there, motion detection there. But let's get back to these. So next to this broken square, there's that camera Instagram looking logo that takes a screenshot once you've set your permissions on the, whichever phone you're using. And then you have your recorder video. Check one, check two, check three. So you can do all that and then once you're finished with that you go to your album and then you have to go into each one to save them into your phone so this is going into your iPhone gallery otherwise or into your mobile gallery instead of staying in the app or in that card in the back of this thing's head so save these images I use them for later so delete these from here so I have noticed that in my night vision uh, camera, as you can see, I moved it in the garage. And uh, depending on what device you use, right now I'm on my iPhone, which is a very old one. It is pretty grainy, it's showing a lot of noise. But in my other, uh, I think uh, the Google Pixel one, it's very crisp.